Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a wireless focus system like the one right here. Now a lot of the parts that I am using on this setup actually are the same parts that I used on my previous video which was the setup for a wireless director's monitor. This right here was the cage that I used for that setup. So if you haven't seen that video definitely go to my channel and check it out as it will give you more insight about how all these systems work. We will begin with the 15 millimeter cheese rod and the M12 mil screw adapter. Go ahead and screw that into one of the sides of the rod. Make sure that it's nice and tight because this will be the base for your monitor. Next we will mount the 15 millimeter rod clamp mount to the rod. I'll bring in the rod from the bottom up towards where the monitor will be mounted. The way that I lined up the rod is to not have the screws face me but instead the left and the right side. We're doing this so that we can have the hand grip mounted on the left side. And if you notice the way that I set up the threading on the clamp is facing to my right side because that's where I want the follow focus to be mounted. Now if you're left handed all you have to do is just switch these positions around. Next we will attach the cold shoe mount adapter to the rod. It will be placed on the bottom right side of the rod with the arrows pointing away from you. Next I installed the wooden handle grip on the left side of the rod. The placement for this was as close to the top as possible. Now we want to do this because we want to keep a good even distribution of weight once everything is put together. The cool thing about these wooden grips is that the company makes different versions for both left-handed people and right-handed. I went with the version that came with both. Since we are working with a 15mm rod as the backbone to the system, I wanted to share an alternative for a handle on this setup. Here I used a 50 millimeter rosette mount on the main rod system itself. This will allow you to mount any kind of handle like this one onto the adapter itself since it already has a rosette mount. All right, so now back to the original build. So next we will grab the Tilton Nucleus Nano. It comes with an adapter as you can see there so you can mount it. So that mount will go ahead and place onto the 15 millimeter rod mount. The locking lever will need to be pointing down away from the monitor. This will allow you to easily remove the follow focus from the mount itself. All right, so now we're back again with the Nyris wireless HDMI receiver. On my previous video, we used the same setup to create the wireless director's monitor. The setup for this is pretty simple. All you need to get is a cheese plate and mount it onto the receiver itself using double-sided industrial grade tape. We'll go ahead and grab the hot shoe monitor mount and put it on the bottom right threading hole of the cheese plate. When you mount it, make sure that the hot shoe adapter is pointing to the left side. This will ensure that the HDMI and USB connections of the receiver are pointing up. Next, we'll mount the wireless receiver using the cold shoe mount. As you can see here, it easily falls into place because we mounted the cold shoe mount with the arrows pointing away from us. Next, we will mount the quick release plate for the monitor onto the rod. First, grab the section that has the mounting lever on it. The lever must be pointing towards you as you mount it on the rod. We will then grab the other section and mount it onto the monitor. As you can see in the images here, you can notice that the shape of the mount sort of has kind of like a triangle, but that triangle shape needs to be pointing away from you. Once this is complete, you can go ahead and connect it to the other end. Time to go ahead and test everything by powering up the system. This particular monitor uses the Sony MPF batteries. Now I am using the same one that I used on my previous build, which comes with a five volt USB output. This will be used to power the wireless HDMI receiver. The Tilton Nucleus Nano has its own power supply, so we don't have to worry about trying to power that from the current setup that we've created. Now that we've verified that everything works properly, let's be smart and add a safeguard to this system. We will mount another M12 screw onto the bottom of the rod system and then into that screw the D-ring like I'm showing you here. We would then attach a camera wrist strap to the D-ring. Now I know this build was a little more complicated than the other one but I will put a list on the description of all the parts that you will need to make this happen. And one last thing that I almost forgot 
the overall weight for this whole setup is under one pound very light so that's it that's all that it takes to put this particular rig together i hope that this video was a help to you and if you have any questions feel free to drop them on the comment section of this video thank you so much for checking it out and i hope to see you on my next video